Okay, so I'm doing something a little different today for my YouTube page. I saw a lot of YouTubers out there going something called toy hunting. So we are toy hunting here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Today is November 9th, 2021. And this, my friends, is the largest toy store in the state of Virginia. I know on the outside it just says Antique Mall, but that is how they got started. It was an antique mall and then they expanded an entire upstairs area with a giant toy store so i'm gonna take you inside i've asked the staff here to see if i could get inside a little early before they open and make a video of this and they agreed to let me in as long as i posted it on my youtube page so let's go toy hunting in uh, virginia beach okay so once you come in the main doors here at toy the toy meister which is part of the antique mall here you'll notice the whole upstairs is uh where all the toys are but the downstairs is a typical antique mall people rent out spaces here but we're going to take a walk around just the toy area and uh toy areas all upstairs when you enter the one area downstairs before we go upstairs it is mostly uh well as you can see i guess you would call this vintage horror stuff um this is where they have all their video games um, anything dealing with a lot of the uh, the horror uh, genre if you will Dungeons and Dragons that sort of stuff they have some of the uh, collector stuff from uh, Nintendo Got some old Atari stuff here. It's still in a box. Got a bunch of old Nintendo here. And again, got some horror mixed in here. Some Zelda. Got a real video game here. Of course, you gotta have a little bit of the cards. And, uh, of the toys that go with it they do uh sell used stuff here as well take you around this side here and give you an idea just how many video games a lot of wii stuff here i guess uh wii's not as popular as it used to be Tons of used videos. PlayStation videos. A lot of character figures that go with it. I know I'm moving fast on this and I apologize, but it's a big store and I only got 20 minutes in here to show you everything before they turn the, the music on and patrons start coming in so I'm gonna try to get you a little bit of everything before uh, before they open up they have vintage toys here this would be the I guess larger vintage toys. Probably some old Mark stuff in here. Some old Tonkas, I see. A lot of metal. Okay, so as we head upstairs here, we have another, what they call the vintage area. Vintage toy area. Um... Again, a lot of toy soldiers, a lot of trains, both old Lionel trains and HO scale, N scale. It's not really a train store though, um, but they, you know, if people bring in collections, they definitely uh, resell those, have them in here. Gosh, remember those things? So, but again, if you had to give this area a name, I would say it's called the uh, the vintage toy area. Next, we're going to move into the 
DVDs. Does uh, buy and sell DVDs and Blu-rays. You also have a ton of stuff behind glass here. Also have Ronald McDonald's shoe. <laughs> Got a little Star Wars section here. A little, little bit of G.I. Joe and Transformer area, but again, this is just kind of a highlight area. This is not the real big sections. This is just showing you a, a sample of what's in the store. Bit of giant moon. Again, more DVDs. Loaded with DVDs, books. Here we have some uh, Ghostbusters, Turtles. Again, just highlighting some stuff. We got Tigger here in the corner. Oh, we got the, let's see. If I can get that in focus. Fred Flintstone's car, nice. <laughs> got a giant Lego guy. And then we have uh, Boba Fett here, opening up to uh, the main area. There's two ways to get up the steps. Workers are starting to come in now, so I'm just going to let this kind of play and not really talk much. Probably put some music to this, so um, hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any uh, comments, please leave them at the bottom. I'll try to get back to everybody as quick as I can.
this section of the store. This, I would say, is their highlighted area of action figures. Um, we have everything from Ghostbusters, Wrestlers, Avengers, DC Comics. We have dioramas up the top. And all the figures you can think of in the cases below. Just amazing the amount of figures in one store. Again, without a doubt, the largest toy store in Virginia right now. It may be the largest toy store even when Toys R Us was open. Uh, but I know I'm moving fast on this. I only have about five more minutes before the store opens. so. Um, but I will try to get as many pictures and many video clips as I possibly can. Hopefully people on YouTube can uh, stop the video and take a hard look if they're looking for anything in particular. But, man, oh man. If anybody watching these videos on my YouTube page can get to Virginia Beach sometime in the near future, the store is only closed two days out of the year, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Other than that, it's open, I believe, uh, 10 to 6 on a daily basis. Probably longer hours uh, during Christmas, but uh, just amazing. If you're a action figure collector and you haven't been here yet, you're, you're missing out, man. I, I'd hate to say that there's no figure that they don't have here or can get for you. Um, People are constantly bringing stuff in, trading, selling stuff, selling uh, lots. So let me take you around this way first and show you just how big this is. We have Spider-Man action figures, Voltron, Iron Man. Some stuff is boxed. A lot of stuff is loose. Most of their loose stuff they try to complete before they uh, put it on the shelves if they can. Definitely the best prices in town because most of the stuff you can't find <laughs> unless you're going to go on eBay. So, um, again, a lot of brand new stuff. Stuff still in the boxes. As well as loose stuff. Me personally, I collect a lot of loose stuff. Uh, G.I. Joe's especially and... Uh, Star Wars, so I don't mind not being in a box because I don't display them in the box, but those of you that want the boxes, well, there you go. For uh, my guy Johnny out in Ohio, MIB, well, they got a lot of MIB stuff here if you're interested. Make sure you can make your way to Virginia Beach sometime. Let's take a walk over here, show you. I know guys like... Uh, Ed's Retro Geek Out and uh, Analog Toys. You know, they've been showing a lot of videos like this of uh, toy stores that they've been going to and doing some toy hunting. Well, this isn't a convention. This is a toy store that's always open. So uh, you don't have to wait for a convention. Yeah, you need some wrestlers? Here's, here's some wrestlers. Sit there for a couple hours and go through all the bins. You want some Ghostbusters? This is the Ghostbusters section here. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Got some turtles on this side as well as uh, Ghostbusters. Old turtles, new turtles. Still in the box turtles. Turtles behind the counter. Turtles in the counter. So, how about some dancing raisins? You remember those from the uh, early 80s? Got those. Again, way too much to film here. Way too much to film. I like to keep the video short, but uh, <laughs> the, tour, the store is too big to uh, keep this video short. Here we got the, the He-Man section, I guess. Trying to get you some videos as best I can. Put up some regular pictures as well, hopefully uh, throughout this video. Um... Oh, 
I've seen seen some sectors on some people's uh is that Ed's retro, retro geek out or uh maybe it was uh retro blasting I saw or analog toys maybe. Here we go. Some statues. NECA toys, I guess. They got a bunch of those in here as well. Got some Matrix stuff in here. RoboCop. Anybody's interested in that? I know uh, Analog Toys is going to be loving this. And uh, so was uh, Ed's Retro Geek Out. Who else? Oh, Retro Blasting. He loves Indiana Jones, man. So, got some Game of Thrones stuff in here. Lord of the Rings. This must be the Lord of the Rings section here. Oh. Six million dollar man. Heck yeah. Old school stuff right there. So. Lord of the Rings. Avatar. Do you even know they made Avatar uh, action figures? Now we're getting into the uh, fantasy area, I guess. Ton of Avatar stuff. Ton of Avatar stuff. Oh, Jurassic Park era. So now we're in the Jurassic Park themed area. Again, we got some in the cases, some behind the counters. If anybody's into Jurassic Park, this was a little after my time. I liked the movies, but uh, did not collect any of this. So uh, those of you that do collect this kind of stuff, you probably recognize it. Now, I know Mr. Analog Toy is going to love this. We have the, uh, move it into the 12 inch G.I. Joe section. Got the old vintage stuff in the case. And uh, loose stuff on the shelves. And I know you can't tell, but there's just three to four rows of G.I. Joe's right there behind each other. <laughs> Got some big gym stuff up there. Got all the accessories here, bagged and tagged if you want to buy your own stuff. Bunch of Funko Pops. I'm going to have to go back. I skipped the whole section just following the uh, the perimeter here, but I want to get you back on track here. Here goes your little G.I. Joes. I call them the little G.I. Joes, three and three quarter. The Fondra. This would be the uh, three and three quarter G.I. Joe section. I can hear a lot of noise and the store is open now, so I'm gonna continue this video and hopefully you'll be able to hear it over top of the music or uh, people walking by, but uh, it's a Tuesday morning, so probably not too, too busy here, but I know weekends are, are crazy. Never collected this. But I'll uh, post it because it looks cool. Anybody need some figures? Three and three quarter figures. Tons of them. Need to get some guys from uh, New York and uh, Ed's Retro Geek Out to come from overseas and check out this place, man. <laughs> they could spend days here, I'm sure. Micro machines. Do remember those. Got some old school toys here. So again, I'm following the perimeter right now. Oh, bunch of Nerf guns hanging from the ceiling. Got some more Tonka area, Tonka toys. 
Got a bunch of NASCAR stuff if you're into NASCAR. I guess it's the Hot Wheels section. More Tonka toys. Got some kind of like dollar store grab bag kind of stuff here that easily tag. Playmobil, Thomas the Tank. Again, way too much. It's the comic book section. Somebody's going through and organizing the comic book section, so I don't want to mess them up here. Again, the workers are starting to come in now, and the patrons are starting to come in now, so I'm just going to let the rest of this play and uh, put music to it, and hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a 